homosexuality. I think there's little that can be done about it. And I fail to see why it should be regarded as morbid. It is the law that is morbid. But the law will in time be changed. The etiology of it. You can't very well say that. Sigmund in Vienna has rejected altogether the grossly physical Helmholtzism on which all his generation was raised. He will have it that neuroses and hysterias and what the world calls, if it knows the term, uh, sexual aberrations and inversions and so on, have no physical cause, though they may have physical symptoms. The so-called aberration of homosexuality has nothing whatever to do with an irregular endowment of hormones or whatnot. No one is born homosexual. No one is born heterosexual. But everyone is born sexual. This sexuality is first fixed, inevitably, on the mother, source of oral and other gratifications. Most of the people in the Côte d'Azur are heterosexual, though, of course, we must not leave out of account the fact that the Azur coast is a refuge for those of the opposed persuasion. Everyone, as I said, is born sexual. There are stages of infantile development which lead, in the majority of cases, to a declaration of heterosexual tropism. Now, the homosexual is made out of an inordinate Oedipal situation. But his homosexuality is not a neurosis or psychosis. Only his attitude to it, which means his attitude to society's attitude to it, can produce a condition in which it is in order to talk of an etiology.